Hi, I'm Beard. And I'm Hat. Welcome to Gentlemen and Whiskey. Hi, welcome to Gentlemen and Whiskey, and welcome to one year of this YouTube channel. That's kind of hard to believe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're making this video basically just as a thank you to you guys for watching. Um, it has been kind of a strange year, but it's also been a really fun year where I feel like we've learned a bunch of stuff about how to make videos mm -hmm. and haven't learned anything about anything else, hardly at all. But yeah, we, we matured in the video making. We definitely didn't mature in our personalities mm -hmm. at all. I think we went backwards. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh. Drinking with one of your best friends will do that. Hey. So yeah, um, as a anniversary, I guess, as a yep. as a kind of commemorate our first video, which was a year ago today, we're gonna hold up a promise which we made in that first video, which was to revisit a bottle that we absolutely crapped all over. Wow, that is way smoother than I thought it would be. But not very flavorful. Nope. Not There's a... nothing. <laughs> not a lot to that. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. That's surprising. I think not I, w I don't even want to go with smoothness necessarily because at least smoothness leaves you with something. Dude, that's bourbon water. <laughs> And that is the Bowman Brothers small batch, which is right here. And we haven't really drunk, well, we've drunk a little bit out of it as a group, as our whole whiskey group yeah. since then, but we haven't really done anything with this bottle since. No. But it's been open. So John and I are going to drink this again all by itself with nothing chasing it, nothing ahead of it, and see what our opinions of it are. I, I, I don't know. I don't even remember anything about this bottle at this point. Yeah, we're either going to give it its redemption arc or we're going to put the nail in its coffin. And it will end up sitting somewhere on a shelf for even longer until someone comes over that isn't really our friend and we'll give it to them. So I don't even know if I knew this at the time, but it's actually Buffalo Trace distillate that they age in Virginia. Well, su supposedly. It's a mix of Buffalo Trace, Mashbells 1 and 2 better than I remember. Okay, but can you like pour it so we can drink it? Wow. <laughs> Here, have some freaking whiskey. Have some freaking whiskey. That should be a t-shirt. I do want to make a, I just want whiskey t-shirts. Ooh, heavy pour. That's fine. It's been a long day. All right. All right, so 90 proof Bowman Brothers small batch. Getting its uh, getting its shot at redemption after getting absolutely crapped upon in our very first video. Yeah. So let's see if this does any better. Cheers. Cheers to a year. Cheers to a year. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. It smells better. It's got like some fruit up front. I remember more ethanol, but that was probably because it was a fresh crack. Yeah. Yeah, it's it actually does smell it's like a lot theoretic. like Buffalo Trace. It it's does. got some of that like like apple pie flavor, like some yep. breadiness, some sweet, some like leather notes. I mean, I don't put leather in my apple pie, but you're not into bondage apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I am into bonded whiskey. <laughs> bonded apple pie. All right, so already better. Let's uh, got a little bit of a like fake banana flavor to it. It's gonna be oddly like, specific, but dude, I smell banana runts. Ping. Um, let's do the part about the whiskey that we crapped more on. Because last time we, we liked the smell. Yeah. If I recall, last time we didn't like the taste at all, and especially the finish. Because if I recall, we said there was just nothing there. That it was bourbon water, and that it was like. I forget what all we said. We I think you said something to the effect of water that drove by a tree. tree. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. It's bourbon water with a slight something like water that was submerged near a log. <laughs> like, 
that, that's really what this is. <laughs> like, like if a logging truck went past a truck that was holding this whiskey in the back that's of it. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> Let's yep. see if it holds true or if our minds have changed. Cheers, dude. Nope, it's bad. <laughs> it isn't as watered down as I remember it, but it still, man, does not have much there. Yeah, it, I'm maintaining most of what I said the last time. Yeah, it, it's very oaky no and not much else on the palate. Yeah. Has a little bit of a finish to it now. A little bit more spice on the palate. Yeah. A little bit more spice. A little bit more spice on the palate. But I think no primer going into it, like no whiskey at all before this. So what's your favorite bottle that we've tasted this year? That's a good question. Um, probably on the shelf, honestly. Other than just Buffalo Trace, everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a tough one because I've got two. I think the Jack Daniels 10. Yeah. Was a surprisingly good whiskey for how much I typically don't like Jack Daniels yep. products Agreed. in general. Um, and that was also fun because we got to do that with Brandon, um, who definitely we will have more videos to come. Um, While you're looking around, I'll share mine. Yeah. That's uh, I think actually mine is the Maker's Mark Fine Wine Good Spirits pick. Okay. I think it may not be like on paper the best, but it's the one that I remember the most. And I think it's the one that I've enjoyed probably the most since then too. So I don't know if I have any others. I, I genuinely enjoyed, I mean, our scores show the ones that we enjoyed. I enjoyed some of the Knob Creek, some of the Elijah Craig's that we drank. Um, the Knob Creek video actually is not live yet, but it's coming. Spoiler. Spoilers. <laughs> um, I also enjoyed the, the the whiskey that we drank for the 12 days, even though we didn't actually drink those on channel. The 12 days of whiskey that yep. we introed, mm -hmm. those that was a really uh, cool little tour of a bunch of different whiskeys. And then maybe maybe this year we set one aside, one of ours that we just drank together. Yeah. And we do that. Pretty cool. So, yeah, I guess there's all kinds of different stuff that we can do this next year. Yep. I mean, we didn't really have a plan going into no. this year worth of stuff. So no, but we're we're committed to putting out more content in this next year. We've already, yeah. I think, okay. hit our yeah hit a little bit more of a stride in trying to get a video out every two weeks. So we're, we're doing our know. best to put out consistent content. So uh, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. Thank you for uh, getting us to two thousand views. Uh, our next milestone would be a hundred subscribers, and then three thousand views, and we're well, just trying to snowball from there. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And cheers. Cheers. Some ships are wood. Some ships are metal. But friendships are the best ships. <laughs> <laughs>